everybody, it's John from Lake Erie Chestnuts. A little windy out here, so hopefully you can hear me. It is August 26, 2017. I'm talking about tube maintenance. And we've had some various comments about why we don't keep these completely mowed up. And the basic reason is time, and it hasn't really affected the growth of my trees that I can tell. Later on, as the tree canopy comes out, I won't have to worry about this as much. And we'll end up mowing the entire orchard floor, but currently, that's why I'm not doing it. But you see, I got lots of weeds growing out of here. That's going to choke out my trees. Once the tree's up here, if there's a few weeds, I'm fine with that because that keeps branches down here from wanting to grow up here where all the sun is. That's where the leaves are going to grow, and I'm going to be mowing under this with a tractor, not with a lawnmower in the future, and I want my branches to start at about six foot. But to maintain these, I just lift the tube up a little bit, and then I reach under here and find anything that's not the stump, and just start pulling things out. And sometimes you'll pull some of the tree out. all of this choking up my tube so that all happened within the past month because I do this about every month but this is a thing that either I didn't recognize as a I may have thought was a shadow of a tree and now it's shot up to do its seeding but the tree itself is very short because it's struggling for sun but we're gonna put this back in that's why we do tube maintenance if you don't that tree may even die from lack of sun. We're doing that plus putting tops on trees that are making it over the top. Uh, I've already had some deer browsing some of mine. And uh, even if you spray the trees around the base, you will still get some coming up through the tube because you don't want to get any of the herbicide on the bark. Uh, that's basil bark spraying is a way to kill young saplings and uh, it'll kill certainly our young chestnuts. Here we're going to tube a two-year-old tree that I started from seed and you can see that I try to tube them all at once rather than here and there but it's probably better to do them here and there because if you see right here this tree has already been groomed by one of my beautiful white-tailed deer and it's already had to send up this next branch but you know at least I got it up it's kind of rebounded here and I'm gonna put a tube on top of it whatever this guy is he is a common pest seen on my chestnuts I don't see a lot of damage but if anybody knows what he is I'd like to know I've seen him several times on my chestnuts that's what I'm doing in my orchard messing around with my trees hopefully you guys are having fun messing with your trees and Hope to see you around here. Make some comments if you get a chance.